Pac-Man Championship Edition 2. They're back. He's back. Um, let's see what changes they've made. Let's jump in the tutorial. So, the tutorial is definitely something you should do because there are many differences between the original and this one. Now, as a caveat, let me just mention that I played Pac-Man Championship Edition. I played Ch Pac-Man Championship Edition DX. I'm by no means an expert and I by no means know every single thing that happened in the original game. So if I say something is new in this one and it's not, you know, I'm human, I make mistakes. Uh, I play a lot of games. So um, one major difference in this game is you can come in contact with regular ghosts. You can bump into them and they kind of go into an aggro mode and then they'll kill you. You can avoid them, but that is one of the major differences here is uh, actually bumping into the ghost is something that you can do it if you want in order to get out of something or get somewhere quickly. Uh, it does come at a price of the ghost kind of going aggro, becoming large, just beginning to glow, and then coming after you. Uh, also, eating the power pellets uh, actually makes the items that you want to eat, like the fruit, I'm sorry, eating the, the, the small dots makes the, the fruit and or uh, items and the power pellets appear. And fighting bosses is interesting. It's the challenge is not the boss itself. It's the sequence of levels as you work your way up to it. So what it'll do is it'll throw some really quick uh, levels your way. We have to get through them extremely fast, get the fruit. And build that fruit up and you'll see later on it also wants you to get um extra lives but we'll get to that later um hey an achievement look at that so the single train mode is sort of like you'll see that later too is more akin to the original pac-man championship edition uh so as you get into the, st the score attack mode, you see there's a plethora of levels to unlock and they're just slight variations on what the rules are and what you have to do. Now you have to go through, and, uh, I'd say maybe like less than a quarter. Yeah, less than a quarter. Um, uh, maybe like a, a fifth or a sixth, if, if that, of score attack mode in order to unlock uh, the, uh, the adventure mode. But it, it tells you exactly what you need to do. So as you can see, there's a ghost with a huge trail. Now, there's one ghost that's either like behind it or leading it. And the trail is just you waking up all the different ghosts and them as a collective pursuing you. And then once you hit the power pellet, um, you, can, you can have at it. And at first I didn't like the fact that it took me off of the maze and wound up and all that kind of stuff, but I, kind of, I got used to it. It's, it's pretty slick. It just, the learning curve of this game is just different than the other one. So if you, you know, if, it, if you wanted to see Pac-Man Championship Edition for just different levels, that's not what this game is. It really is kind of doing its own thing. It just takes a minute to get into. And initially I thought it was too fast. Initially, uh, well, there are, there are just some sections, some levels that are just a little intimidating because you'll have like three of those things going on at the same time and I'm getting older so for me just visually there was too much to keep up with but I got used to it so once you unlock adventure mode it takes you through all the it takes you through different variations of the levels again and the trick is with the, the boss battle here is you want to eat the dots in order to make the fruit appear but in order to get in order to defeat the boss fully, you have to get the extra lives before you get the fruit. But as you can see, you don't have a whole lot of time. You might have 10 seconds. So you see the small little Pac-Man extra lives, the one-ups there. You kind of have to unlock the fruit, get the one-ups as fast as possible, if you can, and then get the fruit to go down to the next level. Which reminds me of that, that uh, PlayStation game, Pixel Cat or something like that, where you're going like down deeper into the levels and then when you get the extra lives they all become their own pac-man and then you eat up the collective boss but as you can see i'm not finished yet 
if you you earn stars for all the levels as well. I don't know if I mentioned that, so you can you can complete a level and get one star and keep moving, or you can do really well, like for the boss battle, if you want to get 20 extra lives, which means in the nine seconds you have to eat all the dots to get the fruit, which also is running from you. If you get the extra lives and the fruit, then you'll have more extra lives to eat of the rest of the ghosts at the end when you fight the boss. So I did not complete the game. I didn't go through every single level, but I played enough to understand what the rules uh, of Pac-Man Championship Edition 2 are. And like I said, initially, I really wasn't understanding it and liking it. But as I unlocked Adventure Mode and went through through some of the levels in that, beat a couple of bosses, it all it began to click. It's a different game than the first one, and that's okay. It's it, it shouldn't do the same thing. It's a sequel, so I don't know. I dug it. It just the learning curve is different than the original. So. Hmm. Feel free to like, subscribe, click on either one of these videos to watch more videos.